However, the more exciting possibility is that Google could be preparing a hardware upgrade for Stadia and immerse, immersive stream with newer generation GPUs to play more graphically intensive games. With strong competition coming from other cloud streaming services, including GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier and Game Pass streaming's upgrade to Xbox Series X hardware, Stadia is certainly due for an upgrade. I wonder what the what is the specifications for Series X hardware? I just want numbers, uh, gigabits per second type stuff, right here. Uh, CPU custom custom AMD, well, eight core Zen two Series X, three point eight gigahertz, uh, with SMT Series S three point six gigahertz. So the X is three point six. Uh, da Series X ten gigabits uh, and six gigabits of uh, memory. Okay. So basically, Stadia is running on something similar to this then. To the Xbox Series X is what it seems to me. Stadia is certain due for an upgrade, but how are they due for an upgrade when they just launched? Even if they were in let's say beta for two years, and then been four or five years maybe let's say it's been on a, a, a four or five year uh gap isn't the nintendo switch like uh seven years old or what's the lifespan of a normal console uh ps1 dates 94 to 2000 that's six years right five years three months two, six years eight months seven years four months four days ps4 uh four years okay so it's getting no, nope, it was getting longer and now it's getting shorter. One more roll. Average co uh, console life cycle. Life cycle, that's what I That's what I meant. Life cycle. NES was seven years. Super NES, five, 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 four, one. Okay. Yeah, so about five years. I guess, I guess it, that's true then. Um, for now though, we'll need to be patient to see what this NVIDIA hardware change truly entails. Uh, but they didn't mention what type of testing they were doing right it's just somebody says something about mm, okay so i did tweet the stadia dosage article and i put fyi i'm fishing for trolls so what i was kind of fishing for was which is interesting because even in this article they keep separating stadia from uh, immersive streaming which they are i guess different departments but it's the same tech right so I don't understand why they had to. If they're if they're messing with the tech uh, on Stadia, then by default they're messing with the st uh, tech on uh, immersive streaming. So the interesting thing is that when that came out, when the news uh, last year sometime in February came out that Stadia or the Google was focusing on immersive streaming and only twenty percent was for Stadia. And then all these staters, which I like to call uh, Stadia haters, all these staters came up screaming, oh, what are they doing? Stadia's dead because now, you know, they're, they're make, basically making competition for themselves by uh, creating storefronts for like big developers, Ubisoft or Capcom or whatever, right? It's like the, immediately they saw the negative in it or, or they saw the worst case scenario. It's like all these developer, all these uh, yeah, game developers are going to create their own game store. Oh, so why would people come to Stadia if it's the same tech? Because for the same reason, and I explained this before in other, other um, episodes, uh, for the same reason that Nikon sells their cameras in their own website and in amazon your exposure you want as many plus you probably have different types of gamers the ones that come straight to the developers are probably more fans and i guess i'll say uh geeks right if you know who the developer is and you go straight to them most likely you're in this in the industry more and for somebody who plays stadia is probably more interested in the te technology of stadia and the, the convenience of stadia and maybe he's not so in the know uh with the developers of the different games in there they just want to go play some games and then get off right 
and so it makes sense that they split but anyways all that to say that how come all the staters are coming up saying oh look at that um you know nvidia is creating competition for themselves by by making te the technology for google stadia you see what i'm saying they don't say that because it's a r ridiculous argument but for whatever reason it's an acceptable acceptable argument when talking about google stadia so that's what i was fishing for nobody took the bait which is uh you know what happens when you specify your fishing for trolls everybody even the people that agree are gonna be like uh okay i'm not gonna touch that uh but it was fun <laughs> yeah so that's the main reason i did that for you know what i mean uh very very different standards for stadia compared to everybody else <laughs>